Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Brigade of Flames, Chapter 108. Um, it is like 1240 in the morning, so it will be a little bit quiet. Uh, so as usual, when I'm at home, when I'm back at my parents' house, uh, turn turn your volume up uh, if you can't hear me. Uh, so anyway, when we last left our heroes, uh, Shinra had like, worked out that Charon is not third generation. He's a second generation flame human, and as a result, was able to like channel his flames or something with some hand signs and seem to deal the finishing blow on Charon. I'm not I think he overloaded Charon is how we did it. I'm not let me go back and see if I can figure out what actually happened there. I can't quite tell because Charon should be able to just absorb it and like rechannel it, but for whatever reason he didn't. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of a I hope that's not the end of the I don't know how I feel about if I want that to be the end of the fight or not. I have mixed feelings about how that whole thing uh, went down. But, you know, we'll have to uh, find out, you know, with this chapter, uh, Lick's secret plan, which looks like we'll be moving past the Charon stuff and hopefully seeing more with um, Joker and Lick. I feel like they're moving out. Uh, so, yeah. After realizing that Charon is second generation, Shinra remembers the Horn Seal the Commander Obi taught him. Overcoming the fear and making a fatal mistake, Shinra launches a powerful counterattack. Chapter 108, Lick's secret plan. Uh, it's loading, got the scan later page, you know. Uh, so yeah, Charon is like cratered into the ground. Like, just beat the hell up. And the uh, henchman is just all, he managed to block Charon's re reflected attack. And Inga's just shook at all this. Let her go. The fire brigade will protect her. And Shinra kind of glares at the henchman. And the henchman has this huge grit. This huge grin. And Charon just gets right back up. Oh, and he gets his... And Charon swings his fist. And just sends Shinra flying with his hand. And then he just kicks him back way far away. And yet, yeah, Charon is still in the fight. I don't know how we're going to move on from here. I, I can't imagine... If that didn't work, I don't, I don't think Shinra can win this fight. I don't think he's going to win. Uh, now we're back with Kareem and Hinoa. We get right back away from... The fight we were on. I'm hoping the demon breaks free here. Um, because again, I was really disappointed with how Kareem like one shot this demon back in 106. Uh, so I'm hoping he breaks free. Uh, yeah, we see some kind of he, yeah, we see like a rumbling from the demon. He managed to freeze the flames. Incredible. Now we can put the flame humans to rest. How long will the ice last? Not long, so we need to hurry. Alright, so yeah, the demon will be back. I think this is just a stalling tactic. Everyone, start snuffing out the surrounding flames. And yeah, the ice melts, and the demon just pops right back up. Everyone, stand back! Damn it, the ice barely even delayed it. And Hinoa points his gun at it. Bullet speed control. Accelerate! And this huge blast at the demon. And the second brigade comes up. Second brigade, fire! And they have this huge, like, cannon blast going at the demon. And it just all, like, fades away at it. Watch out for its counterattack. We'll wall off the flames. Everyone keep laying down fire. There's no point. Normal weapons don't stand a chance. Not even my accelerated bullets work. Se and uh, I think there's Vulcan calling out under the headset. Second generation. Unite and defend. And uh, all the second generations like block the uh, flame blast. A horned flame human. How are we supposed to beat it? Is Lick Was Lick with them earlier? I thought Lick was with Obi who is separated from Hinoa, but Obi was with them earlier, so I don't quite know what's going on. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm so confused. I don't know. I, I must have lost track to where, track where everyone was at some point during this uh, fight. There's been a whole lot going on. So, so yeah, Obi and Vulcan are together. A horned flame human? How are we supposed to beat it? And Lick is just like, there's only been two recorded cases of a demon being put to rest, both in Asakusa. Captain Conro and, Com and Commander Shinmon use their use their Akatsuki technique to take them down. So theoretically, we would need to match the same firepower. That's a massive skill to recreate. What's your plan, Lit? My plan? Um, call the Seventh Brigade. <laughs> God, Lit. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lit just li Lit. Fucking Lit. Just like call the Seventh Brigade. You're right. Why did no one think of that? And Obi's just like, I did, but no one answered. And Kareem calls out to the rest of the group, Flames as tall as mountains. 
what am I supposed to do? Freeze them again? And Lick, it looks like Lick gets an idea. Oh no. No, he notices, notices the demon just super like monstrous in appearance. He's like all hunched over. His neck is like shooting straight out from his torso. It's pretty creepy. Flames as tall as mountains. The flame humans stop. Let's, rec let's reclaim our position. Second generation, prepare another attack. The Maki and the second generation's long distance flame control. And uh, Lick grins. I have a plan. One that will put out the flames throughout the city and defeat the demon. Two birds with one stone. And Obi noted, Obi's like, what? The Vulcan, I need a map. Okay. Lick, how would this work? If all the second generation take advantage of the city's terrain, this magnificent plan will put out the flames and stop the demon. We have another shot of uh, the flames rising over the city. Captain, the 8th forensic scientist said it was in this region. Oh, some second brigade guys are wandering around. Here? Um, we have two, sky two skyscrapers between this guy. Company 2, Captain Taguchi here. We've arrived. And now... Oh, we're with uh, Company 5. Company 5, Captain Capo Capoeira, I think his name is? Here. We've also arrived. Roger. Both captains are in position. Hinoa, watch the flame human. Move that demon to town square. And Hino was like blasting the uh the demon to get him into position. So don't I get to do something? <laughs> Kareem just wants to do something. God bless you, Kareem. Captain Kareem, please get ready for the final part. In case the flame human doesn't stop even after multiple attacks. Well, this fire is already spread all over the place. But if we gather all the flames of the town square and extinguish them all at once. You're talking too nice and easy. How exactly do we do that? We have several second generations that can, that can control the flames, so we'll combine their powers. But even that would not be enough. So this plan also depends on the wind flow in this city. So they're all banking it on what way the wind's blowing? That seems kind of, uh, kind of risky for to make your last ditch effort on, like... This city has several types of wind. The winds between high buildings are ravine winds, and then there are street winds. And the street winds coming in from the south meet with the ravine winds from the north. Here, sorry, I'm feeling a feeling a burp coming on. So I'll probably like cut it in and out in the next couple seconds. And the street winds coming in from the south meet with the ravine winds from the north here in Town Square. That's where these two winds mix. If the second generation can direct the flames throughout the city to follow the air currents, then we can draw the flames all to one spot. And at the end of that air current, Maki will be waiting in the town square. Please go, get to safety, and uh, Mach, Iris and Tamaki are like trying to direct the evacuation. Everything's burning, just like the fire two years ago. Don't push, don't run, don't shout. Keep calm, please. Just trust us. Ah, uh, please, this is the city where I was born and raised. Leave it to us. The fire force will protect this city. And Lake watches them doing crowd control. We'll cause a fire phenomenon to put the demon soul to rest. If this were done normally, it would cause great disarray, but with Maki's good control over her ability, both fire winds will unite in the town square, and the phenomenon this will cause... Firestorm! And Maki's created this tornado of fire. The citywide fire is now concentrated in one spot. Uh, Maki has made Firestorm, and this tornado will be key to fighting the demon and extinguishing the fire. To be continued chapter 109, The Critical Moment. There will be no chapter next week due to a holiday break, they expect another the, fo the following week. Which is good for me because I will not be able to do any videos next week because I'm going on vacation with my family. I will not have time for that. Uh, so yeah, there is no chapter next week. Um, Alright, so I feel like this chapter... I don't quite know how to how to feel about Charon, you know, not being down. I, I'm happy that... I, I, as I said last week, I'm really mad if he was just, like, gone for good from that. But I also, like, wanted the fight to be over. Because the Karon Shinra fight has kind of run its course. There's not a whole lot that can happen. Unless, like, Karon just beats Shinra down now and takes Inka and leaves. That would work. But I don't think there's a whole lot more to do with Karon at the moment. He's, like, he's, th th that fight's kind of been, like, running in circles for about a month now. Uh, and I think it's about time for it to end. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I think about the Shimmer Caron stuff. The lit, the everyone versus the demon, I feel like I'm not a physics expert. 
So that might be part of my problem with it, that at times Okubo relies on what feels like kind of like fake physics. Like with Joe's power, I'm pretty sure it's based on a bunch of like nonsense. Uh, like that's not how relativity works, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'm not sure... Well, first off, I'm not sure what... On a pure base level, I'm not sure what creating the firestorm would do. Like it, it gets it all in one place, but then how does that take care of the problem now you just got a giant fire here, and the demon's there, and the demon's still stuck there, and I don't know what his plan is. I hope we'll find out in 109. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how everything goes down. Um, come, I think New Year's is when the next chapter comes out. So yeah, that'll be a while. Um, or the Wednesday before New Year's. I think it's like the... Um, the 27th, I think, is when I'll come out of Japan and it'll reach us around New Year's-ish. Uh, so yeah, watch out for that. Um, two weeks from now, we'll see what Lick's plan is. When I saw the chapter, I do admit this did not go the way I thought it would. I thought this Lick's plan would be about like some grand scheme he and Joker have been planning since the beginning. But no, it's just his plan to get, get us out of this arc. And I think it's about time for this arc to end. It's gone on for, you know, two months or so. And it's just kind of, at this point, it's kind of been running in circles. Um, we haven't had a lot of progression the last few weeks. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this off here. I enjoyed the chapter, and it's nice to see the Carolyn stuff I'm hesitant about. I don't know. I hope this doesn't mean we're going back into that fight in full swing, because as I said um, earlier in the video, it's just time for that fight to wrap up. It's been going on for ages. Um, there hasn't really been progression, and... We had a little bit of progression until it was undone by Charon just getting right back up. So I don't know where we're going from there. I'm hoping that fights will wrap up the next time we see it. I think next week we'll just be focusing on getting rid of the demon. And then 110, I hope, will wrap up Shinra and Charon. And 111 will be like an aftermath to this arc. That's how I see the rest of the arc going. Uh, also, Arthur and Haumea have been MIA for the last couple of chapters. So I don't know what's going on with them. I do want to see them again because that's kind of like my favorite fight pairing that I see carrying on through like a good chunk of the series. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say for this week's chapter. I'll leave it here. I hope you'll enjoy the chapter and the video. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye.